Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda and today we're going to be talking about steel cut oats. I had to learn from scratch how to do the steel cut oats. I've always used the rolled oats for everything. So I had a subscriber send me a message on how to do crock pot oats. So I'm going to show you what I did. Now this is the finished product and I'm going to walk you through how I did it. First off, steel cut oats from Bob's Red Mill. That's what I start out with. She said to take and use butter and butter the whole inside of your crock pot. Well, Wanda forgot that part. So we're going to see when we start taking it out, how sticky the inside of my crock pot is going to get. But I did add butter later, but I forgot to butter the crock pot. Then I added eight cups of water, three cups of oats, and I stirred them occasionally the first couple of hours. And while that, after I got the oats in, I added three apples chopped up, some cinnamon. Um, I added some of my muscadine syrup. Instead of maple syrup, I used muscadine and I just poured in what I wanted. You have to do this to taste, guys. I added the, uh, a little bit of butter into it and um, I added cinnamon and it looks awesome. I also added one cup of almond milk. The first couple of hours I come by and stirred it a little bit to keep it from sticking on the bottom and then I just let it go ever couple of hours I'd come by and stir it once and it's been going almost eight hours. Lots and lots of oatmeal. Now I intend to take this and proportion it out and put it in the freezer. They said it freezes really well and you can cool it off and then freeze it. Now here I took some out while it's hot and I've tried it and this is delicious. Absolutely delicious. The apples are still a little bit crunchy. Um, they didn't soften up as much as I thought they would. Probably what I'll do next time is I have jarred apples and I'll wait till, uh, it starts cooking like the first three, four hours and I'll put my jarred apples in there cause they're done and that will give it that. But the taste, the taste is awesome. Uh, it's more like, uh, oats I'm used to. It's smoother, it's creamier, and guys, that's the way you do steel cut oats in a crock pot and have them forever. I, this will be enough oatmeal for me for at least a month. So I know when Danny gets up in the morning, all he's got to do is heat me some oatmeal. So thank you guys from Crazy Days for following along with the steel cut oats in a crock pot. I took the oatmeal out of the pot. I've got a silicone mat down in here. I've put it all in here. What I'm going to do is cover it in a little while when it cools with um, saran wrap, put it in the freezer, and then I'm going to cut pieces for that will fit in my bowls. Um, this is the size bowl that I like to put some in, so I will cut it smaller than that bowl. Then I will take the pieces. It'll be like square chunks. I should get three, six, nine. I should get close to 12 servings out of this. And I will take and put it in a Ziploc bag once it's frozen and I've cut it up. But let me show you the pot. It didn't stick too bad. So what I'm doing, I'm going to run water in it. 
and I'm gonna put a little bit of soap and let it soak till after supper and then I'm gonna clean it up I don't think it would be too bad of a cleanup it looks like it's all coming loose pretty good so the crock pot oatmeal is a goat <laughs>